Hello and welcome to the history of aliens. Today's episode, Executive Officer Kane. And here we go. Kane was the executive officer on board the commercial towing vessel Nostromo during its return mission to Earth. In the year 2122, while returning from a job in the Somalians, the ship passed through the Zeta II reticuli system when the Nostromo's onboard computer mother awakened them from hypersleep prematurely. Kane was the first to awaken. The computer had intercepted a distress call beacon originating from a planetoid within a close proximity to their ship. The Nostromo crew responded to the beacon and took a dropped ship to the planetoid. The weather conditions on the planetoid surface were extremely violent and the ship suffered extensive damage while trying to land. Commander Kane was part of the three-person survey team that explored the planetoid surface, along with Captain Dallas and Navigator Lambert. They discovered the ruins of a derelict spacecraft, which had apparently crash-landed there many years ago. They determined that it was an ancient SOS beacon from this vessel that their ship had intercepted. Kane explored the cargo bay of this carrier ship and found a giant nursery filled with thousands of large bio-organic pods. Drawing his weapon, he examined one of the pods at close range and found that it was actually an egg. His proximity to the egg prompted it to hatch. As he peered into the egg, a crab-like alien organism leaped out and attached itself to Kane's helmet. This alien facehugger secreted an acid that bled through the helmet allowing the organism to attach itself directly to Kane's face. The rest of the crew found Kane and quickly brought his unconscious body back on board the ship, breaking quarantine protocols in the process. He was immediately taken to the infirmary, where the ship's science officer, Ash, began to analyze the creature. The facehugger had inserted a long proboscis into Kane's mouth, which was feeding him oxygen. Although the ship's crew didn't realize at the time the organism was also infecting Kane with an alien embryo, using his body as a living incubator. Once the facehugger adequately performed its duties as midwife, it dropped off Kane and died. Kane soon recovered and almost had no memory of his experiences on the planetoid. He was brought back to the Nostromo and the rest of the crew prepared a large meal before going back into hypersleep. During dinner, the seed within Kane's body began to grow. Kane went into convulsions and Dallas and Chief Engineer Parker had to restrain him. The alien embryo punched through Kane's chest and skittered across the floor. Kane was killed instantly. Shortly after his death, the Nostromo crew held a short funeral for Kane and launched his body into space. Background Information Kane was the first on-screen kill in the Alien film franchise. John Hurt, the actor who played Kane, made a cameo appearance in Mel Brooks' parody film Spaceballs, reprising his role as Kane and did a spoof of the chestbuster scene in the space diner at the apparent result of eating the special. Kurt mutters desperately, Oh no, not again, likely referring to his gruesome demise in Alien. British actor John Finch was originally cast as Kane. However, on the first day of shooting, Finch suffered a severe bronchitis attack and had to drop out of filming. John Hurt was initially unavailable due to a project he had scheduled to work in South Africa. As it turned out, John Hurt was denied entrance into South Africa because the South African authorities had mistaken him for a political activist named John Hurd, who had developed a reputation for outspoken views against apartheid. Unable to work in South Africa, Hurt then became able to work on Alien. Hey, thank you for watching the history of aliens. Special thanks to the Alien Anthology Wiki and all contributors for all information you heard today. Also special thanks to the Patreons. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.